Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, is there a term for sticking with a show that you know is completely absurd? If there is, and just like that, the Sex and the City spin-off that just finished its second season is the best example of a TV show that fits the bill. Although the second season of the show has been noticeably superior to the first, it's difficult to finish these 11 episodes without sighing. After a turbulent season that saw Carrie reconcile with her longtime ex Aiden, as well as a number of other subplots that would be challenging to cover in a single recap. And just like that concluded with a mixture of thoughtful, emotionally satisfying scenes and a few big DTF moments, Samantha Jones, who had been missing from the remake owing to friction between the actors, made her long-awaited comeback in the finale. The character's departure to London is blamed for her glaring omission, which is finally clarified when Samantha calls Carrie from a car to inform her that she won't be able to attend Carrie's last supper in her old apartment. In particular, Samantha's use of a line from Sex and the City's Boy, interrupted when she faked to be Annabelle Bronstein to enter Sovo House gave the scene, clearly recorded without Parker and Catrall really interacting, a familiar comfort. Due to aircraft delays, Samantha regrettably was unable to travel to New York, but she was able to bid the apartment farewell by speakerphone. The remaining portion of the program felt like fluff as we awaited what would happen to Carrie and Aiden, who had recently reconnected but had had their rekindled romance derailed by his teenage son's antics back at home in Virginia. The dinner gathering, which makes Carrie's apartment feel a lot bigger than it ever has previously, allows a few characters to work out their differences. In the kitchen, Miranda and Che find some solace after Ching makes vile comments about Miranda on stage after their separation. Anthony makes the decision to open up his life and, as we'll discover later, his ass to his hot new boyfriend. The best new character on the program, Seema, ultimately convinces her newly boyfriend to put his phone down. This almost seems like the series finale because of all the necessary bow tying. Aiden finally shows up without his bags. Carrie is told that he must put his children first and is told to wait for him for five years. It's genuinely strange. Carrie has access to Big's millions of riches, which lets her travel wherever she wants whenever she wants. Why would you give up your love life for a man who can't manage his relationship with his teenage son for five years? Does the show plan to end John Corbett in this way because he just signed an agreement for a few episodes? However, it gets worse. After Aiden assures Carrie he'll see her again in five years, there is a montage of all the characters having sex or pairing off that makes us wince. You can now watch Anthony get shot by his Italian lover if you've been waiting two seasons. This is your chance to care about Che hooking up with a strange character we met last week. And just like that has been a passively entertaining show to watch this season despite its emphasis on ludicrous stories. As Charlotte left parenthood and resumed her profession in the New York City art world, she was given some juicy sequences. It was cathartic and fulfilling to see her fight back against her family and assert her personality. From the ridiculous, disrespectful way she ended her marriage in season one, detaching Miranda from Chi and helping her deal with the fallout was a step in the right direction. It was so enjoyable to watch Carrie go on dating once more. Real estate and fashion are always captivating, and just like that has audiences addicted for a variety of reasons. But it has the same impact as beating cosmopolitans, they taste great, give you a rush, but they may also be overly sweet and give you a pounding hangover. Of course despite that, we'll all continue to watch. Especially if season 3 includes more Samantha. See you eventually on another engrossing review. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.